Hey, HNW Podcast here, and today we're going to conquer a trick that I call the Coriolis Effect. Now you might be asking, well, what's the Coriolis Effect? The Coriolis Effect is one of the most important tricks that I think a devil sticker should learn, but it's also one of the more difficult tricks that a devil sticker can learn. So let's go straight into it and show you a demonstration of what the Coriolis Effect looks like. So here's the Coriolis Effect. Wow, that was confusing. The hand stick went up and down and the devil sticks went all over the place and ah, just what, looking at it makes it seem like it's just defying gravity. I mean, that's what we're trying to do, right? But I'll help you with this video to learn how not only how to do the Coriolis effect, but how to learn it much faster than I did because this trick took me forever. So I wanna go straight into analyzing the Coriolis effect to get a better idea of what is actually going on when you're performing the trick. So, one thing, the things that you need to know before trying to get at this trick is you have to be pretty good at doing your normal idles. You also have to be good at doing your one-handed flip idles like these. You also have to be proficient in your helicopter or pizza spin or whatever you call this flattened trick here. And once you have those three, you really are prepared to take on the Coriolis effect. So if you were watching earlier, what you can tell is that really the Coriolis effect looks like it's a one-handed version, like that, of doing your normal helicopter or pizza spin, like this. See? It stays flat, but you're only doing it with one hand stick. And really, that's a good way of looking at it, that it's a one-handed way of doing the helicopter or pizza spin. So let's look at that even closer. We know with the one-handed idle that you're gonna have the idle and it flips just like that. We know how to do that really well. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna combine that with the inward-outward effect of the helicopter. So you know how during the helicopter, one hand is scooping inward and one is pushing outward to have it give it a flattened effect. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine that. We're gonna combine the flipping of a one-handed idle with the rotation given of a helicopter. So what that looks like, well, I'm gonna go first into my helicopter, and then I'm gonna take my left hand stick, since I'm right-handed, but it can be either hand. Take my left hand stick out and rotate it back towards my right hand. So what's going on here? Well, you can see that the devil stick is flipping just like this, just, just like it was during the one-handed idle, except now I'm pushing forward and pulling back every other one. So pull forward, push back. I'm giving the rotation of a helicopter and combining it with the one-handed idle. This will probably take the most time, but as you can see, it really is just a combination of two tricks that you should already know. Let's look at that again, just like that. Now this is almost the Coriolis effect. While you were practicing how to do the combination between the one-handed idle and the helicopter, what you've been doing is you've actually been removing your hand stick so it can hit the other side of the devil stick as it rotates in. See how, if you look closely, my hand stick is removed from the double stick and I'm hitting the ends. To make this into the Coriolis effect, what you have to do is aim with your hand stick, whichever one you're using, towards the center. The interesting part about that though is if I keep doing what I was doing towards the center, there'll be less and less time for me to make the next movement. See here's way far out, I have a lot of time to adjust. When I get close to the center, I have a lot less time until there's none. And when there's none, that's the Coriolis effect. Just like that. So now that we know that really the Coriolis effect is the same as a flip idle combined with a helicopter, just that we're aiming towards the center instead of the ends, like we would with a flip idle, we can, we're now ready to put together exactly what we're doing. What you're gonna wanna do 
So you're gonna take the double stick. You're gonna put it in a normal helicopter. Once you've got that helicopter going pretty flat, you're gonna take it into the hand stick that you prefer, either right or left. And you're gonna go into your what you've been practicing. That hand stick, uh, the flip idle, combined with the helicopter. Now, when you aim closer to the center, the way that you're actually not dropping it is you're keeping your, the same movement. But you can see that I'm doing that big scoop down, right there. That's a scoop down. Now the reason that I'm doing this is actually, if I were to spin it on one hand, like a lot of people start doing, to spin a helicopter like that, eventually I'm gonna either lose control, which it did there, and it's gonna start going downward because gravity likes to push stuff down. So what we're actually doing is we're seeing, okay, we're downward correcting. The downward correction moves the double stick back up towards the end of the hand stick so it doesn't go closer to my hand. That downward correction is characteristic of the Coriolis effect. When you do it again, I'll do it a little slower. Up, down. That downward correction, first of all, is the scoop inward, but it's also keeping the double stick from hitting into my hand as it moves downward. And you don't need to do a downward correction every time. You can go around a couple times and then be ready. But the downward correction really would add speed to it. If you do faster downward correction, it doesn't get more speed going with the Coriolis effect. And that's really it. That's the Coriolis effect. So what did we do? Here, in summary, all we did was we took tricks that we already knew. We took idols, one-handed idols, and the helicopter. That. We combined the two. We combined the movement of the helicopter with the movement of the flips for a one-handed idol. Just like that. And then we got comfortable doing that trick enough so that we could keep the hand stick near the center. Keeping that hand stick near the center means that the hand stick almost never leaves contact with the double stick itself. And now you've got both a one-handed pizza spin or a one-handed helicopter and a really cool trick that seems to defy gravity and Coriolis. And that Coriolis effect, it really was pretty simple. It was a, just a combination of tricks that we already knew. So hopefully with this, knowing that knowledge and being able to see it slow motion, being able to see how it originates and how it goes from easier tricks into harder tricks. Hopefully, from that, you'll be able to learn this trick maybe in a couple hours, maybe if you're really good, a couple minutes, which sure beats the couple weeks that it took me. So, I really hope that this video can help you expand into more advanced tricks, and especially since this soon, I'll be able to get more and more advanced tricks up here on my channel. So, that's HNW Podcast. And I hope you check out some of my other videos, maybe easier ones, spying ones, all kinds of different videos that I have up. HNW Podcast, signing off.